Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin lecturing computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video we're going to learn how to add and modify a moving average line in Excel 2016. First of all let's take a look at the end product. Here I have some data downloaded from Google Finance showing the uh, closing stock price for Facebook over the period of quarter one 2017. And the blue line on the chart that you see here represents the actual closing values from the beginning of January to the end of March. And you can see there's quite a fluctuation in the stock price over that period of time. Lots of highs and lots of lows. The dotted red line represents, in this case here, a five-point moving average showing a different view of the trend over time. And in particular, it smoothens out the data quite considerably. So let's learn how we can add in this dotted red line to a chart. Straight up, let's take a look at our opening data here. I've downloaded from Google Finance the uh, data for uh, Q1 2017, and we can see all those values here for um, the date, opening price, high, low price, closing price, and volume. We're interested in the date and the close uh, from these data here. So select column A with the left mouse button, hold down the control key, and select column E. So I've just selected the two columns, A and E in this case here, because I want to plot a line chart representing these data. Next, go to the insert ribbon across the top of Excel. In the center you will see the charting options. I'm going to choose recommended charts here because the chart I'm using is quite basic so and it's a line chart, the second option here. So select that and you will see a, the line chart appearing on the right hand side and choose OK. So a couple of changes I want to make to this before we add in the line so as to make our chart a little bit more meaningful. So first of off, I'm going to I give the chart a title. So I'm going to type in here, um, Facebook um, Q1 2017. Just give it a very, very short um, title. And I'm going to make that a little bit bigger by choosing the home ribbon and changing the font size from 14 to say 28. So my chart now has a title, but it also has quite a lot of white space here. So let's get rid of some of that. So select with the left mouse button, the Y axis here with all the, the dollar values, and then choose right click and uh, choose Format Axis. So that gives us some options here over on the right hand side of Excel and straight up we can see that we can change the minimum and maximum values on the X axis. So I'm going to change the maximum value to $145 and the minimum value I'm going to change it to $115 and press Return. And all that does is it gets rid of all the white space and shows me the chart here uh, with the line beginning at the beginning of January and moving up towards the end of March. Now I'd like to add in my trend line in this because as I said previously there's a lot of ups and downs in this so I'd like to take a look at this in much more smooth data. So to do that with the left mouse button select anywhere so that you the to select the blue line and you can see in certain cases uh, points on the line are selected. Choose right click and then go to um, add a trend line. Second option from the pop-up menu here. And that produces a panel over here on the right hand side called Format Trend Line, but you will also see on the chart that there is a straight uh, blue dotted line from the beginning of our data to the end of our data. That's a linear regression line, and that's the default line, as you can see over here, a linear um, a line is uh, selected under tr Trend Line options. So we want to change that, so move down, you will see the last radio button here is called the Moving Average button, so I'm going to click on that button, and then that changes the uh, line from a straight line to a line following the trend over the period of time. So you can see that in the blue dotted line uh, there on the chart. Now this is a default two period moving average, that's where uh, two periods are added together and divided by two to get one value. So uh, I'm going to change that up to, so let's say I'm going to change it to a five point moving average. You can change this to 4 or 3 or up to 6, whatever it is that you want to do with your data. And one of the things to notice in the bottom left-hand corner here is that the more periods you use in a moving average, you are going to lose some values here at the beginning uh, on the trend line. Now that's our uh, five-point moving average here. We could end there, but uh, in my case here, the blue line is not that obvious, so I want to change it to make it a bit more visible uh, from my data. So I'm going to select uh, um, here, I'm going to select the Fill Can tool on the Format Trend panel on the right-hand side. And that gives me some options with um, colors. So I'm going to change the color from the default blue. I'm going to make it a bright red. And I'm also going to change the width. That's the size of the, of the dots on the, on the chart. I'm going to change that, make it a good lot bigger. In my case, I'm going to change it up to three points here. 
So now my trend line is much, much more visible, and I can now interpret this chart a little bit easier than previously. If you want to remove or de-highlight the blue line, well, to remove it, um, select the blue line, and a simple way of removing it is changing the color from the default blue to no color. So you can see it's actually completely disappeared. Let me just change it back there for a second. Or if you want to de-highlight it but still keep it visible on the chart, use the transparency tool, tool to change transparency from 0% up to, say, let's say, maybe around 60% or so. And we can see now that we've got still got the uh, actual data in the background, but the trend line is now emphasized uh, on our chart. So that's how you add and modify a trend line to Excel 2016. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.